Customer service people of Reddit, what's the dumbest thing a customer has gone out of their way to complain about? Many years back. Worked for a store chain which sells all products related and connected to nature. Among them. The Himalayan salt stone lamp. It's a stone made of salt that encases an electrical bulb. It is supposed to help for regulating irons in your home office. A customer called us to complain that their stone disappeared at home. And asked for a refund. As open minded as I can be. I however tried to understand what she meant exactly by disappeared. Story is. Customer removed the stone from the bulb and put it in her dishwasher to clean it. I had to be super nice with her to make her realizing that salt dissolves in water. Especially in hot water. Without her getting upset and getting offended. It was a lowly moment. Okay. That's a good one. Lol. And why would someone want to put it in the dishwasher? Lol I mean how dirty would it have to be for someone to do that? If it was just dusty. You dust it off. Not put it in a dishwasher. A guy asked if I was the manager. Can I help you with something? Double quote. Angrily. Yeah. Three Saturdays in row now I come down here at 4. 30. And every fucking Saturday you close at 4. Double quote. Up. Uh, yeah. We close at 4. Double quote. Fuck you. Double quote. At least he left then. The worst ones don't leave. They just keep going. I work for a popular roadside assistance company and had a guy call in wanting to get roadside assistance for his daughter who was stranded. His daughter was not on his membership and there was no room to add her because he already had his wife added. So I suggested he remove his wife for now and add his daughter so she can get roadside assistance and then switch them back afterwards. Apparently this was the most outrageous suggestion. He went and told my supervisor that I was making him choose his daughter over his wife and no father should have to make that kind of decision lol. I used to work at a pizza place with a small dining room. So many people would complain that their pizza was too hot to eat. Of course it is. It just came out of the oven. This is why you chose to drive your dumbass here to eat instead of having it delivered. Because it's fresh. Fresh pizza is hot. FFS. These are the kinds of people you have to wonder how they manage to get by in life. I'm sure anyone who. The second food is handed to them they shove it in their mouth not bothering to find out if it's too hot. Are the same types of single minded people that would walk across a busy highway without even checking to see if a car is coming. Or who just can't grasp the concept of winter and how it's cold outside for some reason. Double quote. I was working at Office Max during back to school season. This woman comes up to my register with a few things and I start scanning it in. She notices the one item rang up less than she was expecting. She actually got an attitude with me because we hadn't had a chance to print new shelf tags for that aisle yet. I told her I would wait if she wanted to get more. She declined and continued complaining to me about it. I said well I can override the price to what the shelf label said. I realize now that I was being a bit of a BTCH by saying that. She politely declined that as well. Paid with her card. And rushed out the door with her things. It's always X has it cheaper. Go there then. You are hurting literally nobody's feelings. We had a lady come into our hardware store and she was so mean while she was basically yelling her order at me. I felt like I was being soft until she left when one of my coworkers was like what a CT. But all throughout her order. She was bitching about the prices and threatening to go to another store to source all the wood and hardware she wanted. We were all internally wishing she would because we knew she was going to be super unpleasant to deal with. Two days later she rings up and said she can get it cheaper elsewhere. Asking what we would do for her. My supervisor no worries. We can cancel your order for you and you're free to get it there. Because there was no way this other company would do it cheaper. Had a woman call me racist because I asked her if she needed utensils for her takeout. A customer called me racist. I do phone support. I don't see your skin color. They then proceeded to tell me to go back to my country. Yes I have an accent. Who's discriminating who? Not sure if this is really a complaint but more sheer stupidity. At my first IT job. 
Someone was returning a computer monitor and insisted on speaking with someone from the IT department rather than just leaving it in the cage as they were asked. So I came down to talk with them to see what was going on and she was very adamant that I double check the monitor to make sure all of her information was off of it. This lady literally thought all of her icons, files, and folders were saved directly to the monitor itself and wouldn't leave unless I powered it on to show her. I didn't even bother trying to explain it to her. She seemed extremely rude and it wouldn't even be worth my time. So I literally plugged it into the wall. Didn't connect it to anything. And powered it on. See? It's completely blank. You're good to go. She smiled. Said thank you. And left. Worked in an electronics store to put myself through college. I worked in the computer department. But was sitting at the loss prevention desk up front to cover while the LP supervisor took a quick lunch break. An old lady comes in. Asks where the dairy section is. And help finding the milk. I told her. Kindly. That we weren't in a grocery store. She looks confused and leaves. A couple of minutes later her, presumably, son walks in. And starts chewing my ass because I wouldn't help her find the milk. When he was done bitching. I slowly waved my arm across the store and asked him which one of those aisles looks like they might have groceries in them. He stares for a good few seconds. And then starts bitching me out saying that I'm an asshole. And he wants to see a manager. So I page the loss prevention supervisor up to the front. The LP supervisor invited the guy to never come back to the store. Worked at a coffee shop that wasn't Starbucks. Frappuccino is a trademarked word for Starbucks blended coffee drinks. When customers would ask for Frappuccinus we would just put in the order as what we called it and let them know the name for it at our store so they would recognize it when the barista called it out. Had a woman get so upset she was screaming. All over the word Frappuccino. According to her it was the traditional Italian word for a blended coffee drink, it's not, and we obviously thought she was stupid to tell her otherwise and how dare we insult her like that. Tried to calm her down and just say we called them something else but it would be a similar drink. Didn't even correct her about the rest. She continued to flip out and literally looked up and called our corporate customer service line in front of us. Holding up the rest of the line. To have them tell her the same thing. She then started screeching to demand to talk to the president of our company. And started knocking stuff off our countertop. That's when we called security to escort her the FCK out of our store. The store manager was walking by my register as a customer was walking up to check out. My manager said I had to take my break in 15 minutes to which I said. Okay the customer complained that it was unprofessional for the manager to speak to me and that I was unprofessional to respond when a customer was approaching the register because I needed to be focused on her and greet her appropriately. Working pizza delivery. One time a guy called in. Threatened to kick all our asses and more because we put sticks in his pizza. I told him I would be happy to come pick it up and examine it. We got a lot of fraud calls. People trying to get fresh tea every day. When I got there his tone changed. I am 6 foot. 270 pounds. And he showed me the sticks in his pizza. You know what they were? He ordered thin crust. And some of the crust broke off onto the pizza. He was nice as can be after I pointed that out. Somebody called head office to complain that they heard a Michael Jackson song in our store. I was told I couldn't play metal music in the middle of the night with no customers there because a customer complained about it. Not sure who as I actually attracted more customers doing so. I got a great one. So I have a small retail business with my mom that's strictly brick and mortar. Normally our return policy is within 21 days for store credit. During the holidays we extend it so that anything purchased between Black Friday and the 24th of December can be returned up until the end of January. A few years ago this guy came in around the end of April trying to return Christmas gifts on dry cleaning hangers. When I told him I wouldn't take it back. Even for a store credit. He blew up on me and cussed me out in front of other customers in the store. He then proceeded to leave a one star review and bash the store saying how he's never been treated like that before at a store. How tf do people like that exist? 
When I was at DirecTV I received a call from a man whose sole purpose was to complain that this is the United States and there should not be a Spanish option in the automated call tree. I worked for a different cable company and I had people call in and complain because they got free unlimited calling to Mexico with our phone plans. Well. I don't want to call Mexico. Double quote. Then may I suggest that you simply don't do that? It's not mandatory. Double quote. I work at a bakery and we sell pigs in a blanket for breakfast. A few years ago one of the kinds was a spicy blueberry sausage. It had blueberries inside the sausage link. One day some lady got one, knowing it was a blueberry sausage link. Bit into it and noticed some dark looking things inside the sausage link. Surprise. It was a blueberry, but for whatever reason she thought that a flake of black gunk from inside our oven somehow managed to get inside the sausage link, even after said link was rolled in a croissant. She called the health department on us and tried to get $50 plus of free food. My boss asked her what she ordered. He brought out a link of the sausage to show her and she immediately shut up and left the store. Unfortunately we stopped selling that kind because if one idiot is gonna think that then others will. Which is sad because they were pretty good. Restaurant with open kitchen. So customers and us cooks can converse freely. Customer wanted crispy fish. Made it really crispy. Not done enough. I cooked a new one. Literally like 15 minutes on the fries. I cooked 3 or 4 other orders around it. She then complained that it was too hot and she didn't want it. I owned a computer biz for a few years. The one that always got me was this chick that brought in her computer slammed with viruses. Spyware. Etc. So bad it wouldn't boot. Got it all fixed up and she picked it up. Brought it back the very next day with the same thing. I asked what sites she visited since she picked it up and she, completely unashamed, said oh my bf and I are on porn all the time. Um. Okay. I told her I would go ahead and clean it again for free but if she visited those sites I couldn't do it again without charging. Picked it up same day. Back in the next. Me. Did you get back on the porn sites her? Of course. I could not make her understand why this kept happening and would continue happening so I just asked her to go somewhere else. The best is always people who aren't using your services or paying you for anything but demanding your time and attention. Work at a vet's office part time and every shift someone calls in asking about some random medication or another vet clinic when we insanely busy, we see roughly 40-50 pets a day and demand that I look up phone numbers and pricing for other clinics. People act like smartphones and the internet aren't at their disposal. The best was one time this lady called because she found a wild rabbit and wanted us to give it an exam. Explained to her to put the rabbit back outside as it could have a number of diseases and it's not safe to keep a wild animal in your house. Also we don't see anything other than cats and dogs. She then demanded I look up a vet's office that did take wild animals. Told her mom. We are very busy and this is a personal issue and you are the client. I will not do research for you. Have a great day. She then left us a one star Yelp review and tried to write a complaint to the Better Business Bureau. That our parent company said that a portion of every purchase goes towards the So The World May Hear Foundation for Poor Kids Hearing Aids. He wanted that portion of his purchase refunded to him. I told him that the parent company had every right to do with their profits off every purchase that they wanted and most people were happy that instead of profiting as much they made a donation instead. He didn't care. He was mad that his money was helping brown kids here. FCK that guy. I worked at a shoe store and I had a guy come in and ask where he could get some books packed up for free and shipped. I said I wasn't sure and that made staples would do it because they have an ups area there. He said he already tried there and then he called me a fat ass, I wasn't fat. Just very pregnant, because I couldn't be bothered to get off the ladder to help him. I was like dude. I sell shoes. I don't know what you want from me. He storms out of the store and like 3 years later I'm still super confused about the whole situation. A lady ordered a sandwich and then cancelled her order because she thought it took too long. Someone else from the party she was having called and made an order. We made it and delivered it without issue. 
Same lady calls back appalled that we would allow one of her guests to order from us after she made it very clear she wanted to cancel her own order. It's not my business if other people at her party want to order food and I had no idea it was her party anyway. I told her it was very common for multiple deliveries to go to the same house party. Why wouldn't we make them sandwiches? She then told me I would obviously never amount to anything in life and she was going to make a formal complaint against me. It was such a weird complaint. It was probably 10 years ago but it still bugs me sometimes. I worked at Subway in high school and a customer demanded to speak to a manger because her $5 foot long was not exactly $5. I tried explaining to her that sales tax is normal and $5. 35 is the price of anything after tax that is $5 she continued to yell and cuss at me. She even specifically stated she does not have to pay a tax. It was at that moment I accepted that there was no being rational with some people. When the grocery store I work at used to make made to order hoagies. We'd have a regular customer that would order an 18 inches sub and measure it every time. It always got the same amount of meat. If it was shorter than 18 inches she'd say she was getting ripped off. And if it was longer than 18 inches she'd get mad that her meat would be spread out too thin or. I was a lifeguard for 2-3 years in high school. Every day I would get people complaining about the pool temperature as if I could do something about it. Mum. The pool does not have a heating system. I'm sorry. Larger bodies of water hold their temperature longer. Which is why it's so cold. And they would complain all. The. Time. This is your job. You need to fix it. I'm sorry lady. This isn't the Four Seasons Hotel. This is a F King community pool. It was never young people. Always the old ladies who would come in at 5am to do water aerobics. I'm a bartender and just last night I came in and I knew something would happen. They are sitting at their table and ask for some margaritas. I go make them and bring them out to the table. He proceeds to tell me here's a taffer tip. If someone orders a cocktail you should make it in front of them I replied. Well if you were sitting at the bar I could do that. Do you want me to bring the blender out to your table and make your frozen drink for you there? WTH one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. We couldn't get a $5 coupon to scan so we just took it off in another way and she ranted and raved because she didn't like how it was going to look on the receipt. Legit yelled at one of my cashiers for this. I'll never understand. When I worked at Walmart there was a point that the register tracked items per minute and you could pause the tracking and get high numbers by totaling and pressing check or something so it expects payment. This also adds a subtotal with the sales tax. Had an old man say I charged him tax like 6 separate times and wouldn't understand it was a running total and not individual charges. Ice cream. Half eaten. Lactose free ice cream. They called up the store I worked at and demanded we take it back BC after she ate almost all of it she realized it didn't taste that well. Despite my efforts to explain that we can't take back food she already had opened and eaten she still insisted we gave her back her money. After 10 minutes I just told her to come to the store and talk to the manager. Not only did he refund the money but he also gifted her two packages of ice cream. And I was drilled to never refund food. Edit. Also one time. While I worked as a call center agent. A woman yelled at me for 20 f king minutes bc she made a mistake and her credit card got declined and bc we had bad reception. She was calling from a train. That was something else. I had a lady demand to speak to a manager because she showed up at our store at 5. 0, 0 p. M. Saw the sign that said we closed at 4. 30 p. M. And called tech support to demand we change the store hours. I explained the store hours are on her bill. The website. The store. Our phone services message in that while I apologize for her inconvenience. Yelling and screaming at us over the phone was not terribly kind. Work in produce delivery. Had a lady complain that the pit in her avocado was too big. She followed up by asking if she could come in and pick her own items before we delivered them and I kindly reminded her that grocery stores exist. Got so many complaints right after 9 stroke 11 about cancelled flights. I worked for American Airlines. I feel that pain. 
I worked for an aircraft market research company. Making my regular calls during the day. I had no idea what was happening until someone started yelling at me that it was fked up to call during this national tragedy. When I worked in a second hand charity shop in the UK. There was this old Russian couple who used to come in about once a week. Just before closing. And waste everyone's time browsing and grumbling about prices and rarely ever buying anything. One evening. The old woman actually bought something. But had a massive rant about how it was naked profiteering that we, a reputable charity, were asking 5p for a plastic bag, as per the law. Intended to discourage people from using them for environmental reasons. The kicker. She was buying a small handbag. You don't even need a carrier bag for it. It's got handles. Customer was sent a bill in an envelope with a plastic window part for the address and called to complain that our company was single-handedly, her words, destroying the planet by sending so much plastic through her door. Turns out she'd had several letters as she was significantly behind in payments and there was a previous complaint on her records where she had insisted all correspondence must be by post. SMH. Literally could not win with the woman. I work in a library and I had a woman that was livid that we had a book of short stories in our young adult section about LGBT issues among teens. She was like this is disgusting. This is giving their young minds a false impression of how normal people should live. This is awful. My boss is a lesbian and was the one listening to her rant. Working in sales I had to deal with stupid people on a very regular basis. The worst was a very well off Middle Easterner who owned several fast food restaurants in our area. Seven of them all from the same chain. He came in twice a week for 13 months and complained that we were lying about the prices we had and that we were assholes for ripping people off on their new cars. Month 13 he came in saying he could get a new 2017 Corolla, I knew the sales guys at the local Toyota dealership well. And we all got along. Comma for less than our 2018 Civic Touring. Yeah no shit. It was a base model. They were cheaper. I walked into my manager's office closed the door and asked if I could have the use of my one get the FCK out. And don't come back for the quarter. He looked at me and said you're cool. I walked out told the guy that he could either buy a car from me or get the FCK out and not come back. Because I was done being jerked around and having my time wasted when I could be dealing with real qualified customers. He bought a car from me that afternoon. Three years later he still has it. I guess this wasn't really an official complaint but it was pretty dumb. I was running register at the grocery store and this couple got in my line. I could tell they were together because they were talking and interacting with one another. However they had two different baskets and left a small gap between their respective items without placing down the divider. So I wasn't sure if they were paying for everything all together or separately. I say the generic things. Hi. How are you? Did you find everything okay? ETC and then politely asked. Together or separate? The lady gave me a death glare and said why on earth does it matter? I gave her a blank stare and slowly said so. That I know whether to keep ringing you up. Or cash out the order. All I can think is they must have been having some relationship problems because she jumped right to that. Haha. <laughs> Call center. Some guy called and immediately demanded to speak with a manager. I transferred him to the manager. I received a feedback from him via email with my manager carbon copied. He said. And I quote. Comma squeeiness. Took too long to transfer me to the manager. Double quote. And x200b. My entire interaction with him lasted 5 minutes. I can't win. At 18 I was working at a gas station. It was a busy day. I was the only one there and had a huge line. A woman comes in and skips the line and throws a $20 at me saying $5 on pump 2. Since she acted like that I chose to make her wait to have money put on the pump. When it would have been get turn in line I put the $20 onto the pump since she didn't wait around. About 5 minutes later she comes back complaining that the entire $20 was pumped. I told her straight out that it's not my responsibility to keep track of her money. And I placed it on the pump for a record of the funds. If she hadn't walked away from the pump. 
or had waited in line she could have completed her transaction like everyone else. She then tried calling the cops because I refused to give her a refund. When the cop got there and got the story he looked at her and told her to grow up and be responsible for herself. I never understood why people would buy spicy food and then say it's too spicy. Like. When I worked in the deli. It was no problem to serve a sample slice. But no. They'd order a pound of pepper jack or spicy chicken. Then come back the next day wanting a refund with like half the package gone. My manager always told them no. It was glorious to witness. People never expect to be told no at retail. Made me wait with him on hold for Bank of America for over an hour, right when COVID broke out, because he insisted a transfer he initiated didn't show up in his account. The Bank of America rep got on the phone only to tell us it was in there and the guy would have seen it if he just fking checked. Not really customer service but. Serving in a bar once in Ireland during a very very busy wedding and had a Karen give out to me that we had no whiskey when the bottle literally ran out. While she was speaking I bent down to open and set up a new bottle. When the new whiskey was ready she gave out to me again that there was no ice spheres. I told her that we never once sold ice spheres and she gave out to me for talking back to her. Some people. I was a pump attendant at a gas station in high school. And let me just say if some of these people can't handle getting gas I can't even imagine what they are like when given an actual task. We had to put pylons at one of the pumps to block it off when the fuel truck came to deliver fuel because if cars were passing through it would get in the way of what the fuel truck guy was doing. I had a lady come up to me and ask why I was blocked off so I told her. She gets out of her car goes over to the fuel truck guy and starts yelling at him saying things like the world doesn't revolve around you. Little does she know it kind of does because nobody is getting gas if he can't make his delivery. Another time one of the card readers on the pump wasn't working so customers would have to pay inside if they wanted to use that pump. I had a note over the card reader stating that it wasn't working. A lady showed up ripped the note off and started yelling at me because it wouldn't work. This place was a total retard show every single day. We have a drink special in the morning. Drinks are a dollar until 11. 0 a.m. A lady called to complain that her daughter's drink only cost a dollar. When we explained to her about the special. She said her daughter should have been charged full price regardless. Worked best by customer service for two years in a college town. So technological smart kids. But the surrounding area was country. One of the latter individuals came in to return two HDMI cables. Both male to male ends. One package was for 3 feet 1 m. The other package was 6 feet 2 m. The gentleman was upset that he had purchased these cables. And he wanted a refund so he could switch them out. The cables weren't working and it must be because the frequencies are different. According to this here packaging. The 3 foot cable operates on a 1 m frequency and the 6 foot cable operates on a 2 m frequency. And they just ain't talking to each other. Double quote. I said nothing. Apologized for the issue. Processed his return. And told him they might be able to help him back in the home theater section. I mean. In retrospect. I could have quietly taught him what a beta is. Or that you can dace a chain male male plugs. But he was so sure of his own explanation. He made my brain turn off. I do tech support for the military. We have a policy of we are break fix only. I.e. You break it we fix it. Therefore we don't do training. We constantly have customers calling and complaining they don't know how to use some software and want us to remote into their machine to train them on it. 1. FCK know that jacks up call times. With high call times no one's issue is getting solved anytime soon too. It's their manager's responsibility to train them on the software so their manager is failing them 3. Read the above. Break fix only. 4. Some of these customers shouldn't be working in the potion they are in and shouldn't hold security clearances. I have worked customer service since before cell phones. Started a new company. Got trained. Got on the phones. No big deal. First call of the day is a man who purchased an industrial heater from us. Spent about $60 on it. 
Think the type of heater you would put in your garage to take the chill out of the air. He called to complain because he was using it in his bathroom for after his shower. His vision was this heater would blow dry his body dry after the shower. Kinda like those fancy heat bulbs at a hotel do. Well I tried to explain to him that was not the intended use of the heater but he was not having any of it. He literally put the phone up to the heater so I could hear the lack of forced air that was coming out of the heater. Ended up refunding his money but I still laugh to this day thinking about him screaming at me that his body was still soaking wet. Then cringing when I had the visual of this 70 year old man wet and naked on the phone with me. Obligatory I don't work in customer service but my dad is a ref king nightmare about complaining for stupid reasons. Usually in restaurants. The other day he sent me this message that his mate has sent to Ikea customer service. Complaining about how there are too many digits in the customer number. They seemed so proud of themselves for it but all I can think about is how it's a waste of everyone's time and such a stupid thing to get worked up about. Hello. I recently purchased a lot of kitchen stuff and decided it would be a good idea joined IKEA family beforehand. The membership number issued is 19 numbers long. I would like to point out that the estimated world population is around 7. 8 billion people. Written in longhand. 7. 8 billion is 10 numbers in length. Dot. Comma so my question it's. Why do you need to create a membership number which is approximately. 802,576,576 times more than the whole world population? Double quote. I'm not exactly in customer service. But I once had a customer call me and demand I sent a different electrician to his house because the one I sent looked shady. After a bit of back and forth I figured out the issue was actually that he was Cuban. In a hotel. They complained that someone else had slept on their mattress so we had to buy a new one. And then 4 more new ones for the other hotels they were going to stay at. They complained that a ceiling I painted wasn't evenly white. After I explicitly told them that bare primer paint in one will never be evenly white unless it's sprayed and wet all at the same time. But they insisted it was the best and wanted me to use that garbage. When I worked at the Zfinity store I had a woman come in to contest charges on her bill and demand a credit on her account for almost $200. See about 6 months prior during the winter she ordered 2 self install kits. One for a DVR, $19, $99 no, and another for a standard HD cable box, $9, $99 no. The equipment was delivered to her front porch in a timely manner via USPS. However, because her porch was a cluttered filthy mess, she never saw the boxes, never installed the new equipment, or returned her old boxes. So she was charged an extra $29.98 slash mo for equipment she wasn't using. She ate these charges for 6 months before she came in with the equipment. Somehow none of this was her fault. A few years ago I was cashier at a retail store. A pregnant woman came up and said that she was trying to leave but couldn't get into her car because a truck was parked very close to her. I paged the driver of the truck up to the cash desk. The truck driver, a middle aged woman, came up. And she and the pregnant woman got into an argument because truck lady didn't want to leave her shopping to go move her truck. I didn't get involved and continued to cash out customers. And eventually truck lady moved her car so the pregnant lady could go home. Later as I was cashing out the truck lady. She asked to speak to my manager. Afterwards my manager told me that she was complaining about me because at some point she said it looked like I nodded. So I was clearly siding with the pregnant lady. My manager said I told her I'd talk to you about it. So here I am talking to you about it and just left it at that. Again. Already posted but I've got more. I used to drive taxi and I knew the city like the back of my hand. More trips equals more money. But every drunk thinks we rip them off with longer trips. I cannot count the number of times people would tell me to take the freeway instead of the direct route because they didn't want to get ripped off. The freeway takes just as long because it's 3 a.m. Not rush hour so the direct route means clear streets and easy lights. And sure you can drive faster on the freeway. 
but that means the trips now covers 120% of the distance and will mean your trip costs more. But you're the customer. I've already posted. But I got more. I worked for a wireless ISP. Meaning point to point wireless. Big antenna on your roof pointed to our tower. Lady calls in and complains that her PC won't get online. After talking to her. We realize she has no router. No Wi-Fi adapter. But since it's wireless it should work and she's mad at us somehow. Same customer a day later. Daughter calls in to say they bought the Wi-Fi device and installed it in the PC. I ask some questions. They bought a PCI wireless card. Screwed it into the case without mounting it on the PCI slot at all. And again said it should work. Because it's wireless. By the end of the call they were telling me the sales team told them it would just work and it would all be wireless. Double quote. Not quite customer service. But I work for a contractor and take care of any warranty work that may arise. Fix leaks. Replace blown off shingles. Loose siding. Etc. Comma I am amazed at the leaps in logic people make trying to get us to fix replace things around their house that have nothing to do with the work we have done there. My favorite was someone wanted us to replace their washing machine because it broke after we put a new roof on their house. I worked at a campus coffee shop in college. It had multiple locations. And my position was to fill in for people who didn't show up. One morning I ended up having to open a location I had never been to by myself. A woman came in to buy her regular coffee and yelled at me because I had put the milk and sugar out on the wrong side of the room. I work at a bank and a customer took the time out of their day to call and ask for a supervisor to complain that they weren't greeted or thanked at the drive up window, because we were really busy inside. She felt that our customer service was lacking. We got her deposit done in a timely manner and if she really wanted customer service she could have either hit the call button and we would have talked to her. Or she could have come in. Back in high school when I worked at a grocery store someone complained about losing the lottery because they were late coming to the store and his numbers it. Thought I could magically sell him a ticket from the past. A guy came into the ski store where I worked and tried to fight me because he had rented a board at 2. 30 pm and the hill closed at 3. 30 pm. The sun had gone down so I'm not sure how he thought the hill was going to stay open. I was a manager at White Castle. The one that sticks out is someone got 19 chicken rings instead of 20. Regardless of whether or not it was true I usually don't care and just replace it but the way he told me made me so angry. White Castle how can I help you? Double quote. Yes what size do your chicken rings come in? Double quote. They come in 6. 9. Or 20. Double quote. Well how come I got 19? Double quote. What am I supposed to say to that? Just ask me to give you a replacement or something don't be a jackass. That we asked them to pay us. They were past due almost $200k for over a year. And when we finally sent our lawyer at them they paid the next day and delivered us a letter saying that they were going to tell everyone how we mistreated them. I mean. They didn't say our invoices were invalid or the product was bad or broken. They just said they thought we were rude for asking them to pay us that way. And before the lawyer I had been calling them weekly. Thankfully. The amount of weed I smoked while working in customer service has forced me to forget most of them. Had one lady say that I didn't need her phone number because she wasn't flesh and bones like me to which I replied well we only serve humans. Have a great night. Double quote. When I was working as a waitress during university I had a guest complain that his food came out too quickly. The whole place was full and the kitchen did their best to keep up and not have people wait too long. I walk up to the table. Entrees in hand and he looks at me with that how dare you look and tells me the food came out too soon and he wanted to keep eating his appetizer without interruption of more food. SMDH. I still don't even know what to say about that. I had one lady complain that her pancakes were cold. And granted that is a valid excuses for a complaint. However she ate them last and asked gave the waitress a bad attitude about it. She then asked to talk to a manager. Sadly for her. Her waitress was the person in charge that night. 
She was not having that. Now we remake pancakes all the time and we're more than willing to redo them but she needed to make a scene. She took her pancakes up to the host stand waved it at everyone and said this is cold. She then threw the pancake causing a pancake explosion her and the party of 5 then walked out without paying. People never ceases to amaze me. I could write a book on this. But unfortunately. This one isn't one that happened to me. But my co-worker complained about and had to tell me about at a restaurant she went to. My co-worker went to a chain restaurant in my area. Not the location that she normally goes to and ordered a piece of lasagna. When she got the slice. She immediately started complaining to the waitress that the slice was too small and that when she goes to another location she can easily get 3 meals out of the slice and with this one. She'll barely get 1 and a half meals out of. When she was told this is a standard slice of lasagna. She was outraged. And told everyone in earshot that she will never go back to this one. She has proceeded to tell many of the customers that she talks to at my job. Which has nothing to do with restaurants. About this travesty. Double quote.